How is it going everybody Mr Android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel today i'll be showing you some really interesting one ui 7 hidden features and settings that every samsung galaxy user should know about so if you own a samsung phone and you have already received this major update or waiting for it to arrive then it's a must watch video for you so stay tuned and watch it until the very end also let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one With that said drop a like leave a comment and let's get started. All right guys first things first let me quickly show you some lock screen features that many of you are still not using after installing the One UI 7 update. Since Samsung lets you add widgets to the lock screen what you can do is you can simply add custom camera shortcuts that you can directly access without having to unlock your phone then open the camera and then select that specific mode. Instead you just need to tap on camera then click on custom camera now simply tap on the icon and here you can choose different modes for different widgets and access some of your most used camera settings directly from the lock screen you can access the portrait mode video mode pro video night slow motion single take and all different modes directly by using this widget once done now whenever you tap on the camera widget it will open that specific mode instantly I think it's a pretty useful widget that not many of you are using right now. Next, we do get lock screen shortcuts and in order to change this, you need to tap on the icon and choose from any of these useful shortcuts. But what I usually prefer here is to add the dark mode shortcut because that makes switching between light and dark mode a lot quicker. I just need to press and swipe from the left side to activate or disable the dark mode on my phone instead of going to the quick settings every time. Next, when I double press the power button, it opens the AI select feature that can recognize what you are selecting on the screen and then offer relevant actions. Not only this, you can also take precise screenshots, copy text or images, turn video into a GIF, create an event and add it to the calendar and do lot more. I think it's the quickest way to access the AI select feature and now you don't have to open the edge panel every time. When you double press the power button it opens the camera by default and to change that simply go to your phone settings select advanced features and then select side button change the double press action to samsung capture and here click on the gear icon and tap on ai select you can also configure it to take screenshots or start screen recording as well after installing the one ui 7 update on your samsung phone All the widgets and app icons will be placed in a much better position even when you are using the landscape mode but this specific setting is not enabled by default and you have to turn this on by long pressing the home screen going into settings scroll all the way down and you will see something that says rotate to landscape mode just go ahead and turn on this option then you can also open the quick settings press and hold the auto rotate toggle and here enable both home screen as well as lock screen Now whenever you switch to the landscape mode all your widgets and icons will appear in a much better way. If you look at my home screen here you can see I have got seven applications inside the dock instead of just five for quicker access. Guys not only seven you can add up to nine applications with the help of a good lock module called home up. All you have to do is simply install the good lock app from the play store. It is totally free and I'll make sure to drop a direct link in the description below. Once installed Open the app and download the Home Up module. Now once that is done, go back to your home screen, long press, go to home screen settings, scroll all the way down and here you will see something called more customizations. Just tap and it will open the Home Up module. Now select home screen, scroll down and increase the favorites max count from 5 to 7 or go all the way up to 9 as well. Not only this if you don't like the dock and you want some additional space on your home screen then you can completely disable the dock too all you have to do is simply turn off the show favorites toggle that's it now when you go back to the home screen you will have a much cleaner look as many of you might already know we've got this brand new redesigned quick settings panel where not only can you customize and change the position of these tiles as per your need But did you know when you press and hold the brightness and volume slider you get access to some more useful settings related to the phone's brightness and volumes. 
when you long press the brightness slider you get additional options like adaptive and extra brightness and you can even enable or disable the adaptive color tone directly from here similarly when you long press the volume slider you get dolby atmos equalizer settings boost dialog and loudness normalization toggles so now you don't have to go inside the phone settings in order to access these options you can directly control from the quick settings panel i am sure not many of you know that you can long press on these sliders the next hidden feature can be extremely helpful for someone who set up multiple alarms every day to wake up so when you open the clock app go to the alarm section here what you can do is you can tap and select multiple alarms for example you can choose all your morning alarms then simply hit on the group icon and give it a name that's it this way you can create different groups for different set of alarms now what this will do is it allows you to manage multiple alarms in just one click with one tap you can turn on all of your morning alarms and you can turn them off as well not only this if you go into a specific group then tap on group settings here you can set the same volume for all of your alarms and adjust it for each one individually i think this is something which can be useful for a lot of people especially when you set multiple alarms to wake up with one ui 7 samsung has also enhanced the settings search and now with the help of ai you can type or give a voice prompt using simple language instead of using exact keywords and ai will provide relevant results based on what you just searched but what's even more useful is that when you just click on the search icon scroll all the way down here you will see all different topics such as galaxy ai personalization music battery performance i comfort privacy notifications and many more if you tap on any topic for example if i click personalization i get all customization options in one place so i don't have to go through different categories in order to find similar options trust me these topics can save a lot of your time and i will highly recommend you to start using them right away so that's pretty much it for this video these are some useful hidden one ui sign features that every samsung owner should know about if you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button subscribe to this channel if you haven't already i am mr android and i'll see you guys in the next one